Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to use some formula to answer some questions, in particular the count if formula and the sum if formula. Very, very handy. Once you get used to them, you'll be using them all the time. So let's get started. On the uh, table on the left, we have a motor vehicle company with transactions of sales. It goes down about a thousand or so lines. And basically we have the date of transaction, the salesperson selling the vehicle, the branch where the salesperson is located, the color of the vehicle, the type of product, and the total value of vehicles. So with this type of data set, some very common questions we have on the right, and we'll use the count if and sum if formula to work out the answers. Now the first question is, how many motor vehicles has Frank sold? Now, a very easy way to do this is to count how many rows where we find Frank as the salesperson in column C. So let's get started with the formula. Equals count if. And what that's going to do is we're going to count the range of column C. And the criteria is that column C contains Frank as the salesperson. Close brackets. The result equals 108. And just to double check that answer is correct, We'll go to column C, we'll filter on Frank, and we'll quickly highlight over that list. And down the bottom right, Excel counts it up for us, and the number is 108. So the formula has worked perfectly, as we've got the same result with the count if formula. So the next count if formula is a multiple count if, and what that means is that there are a number of conditions that need to be met to get the answer. So in this particular question, how many white motor vehicles has Frank sold? And to do this, we'll use the count if formula, but it's the count if S formula. So we'll get started. Equals count if S. And we've got two conditions. So the first condition is that column C contains the name Frank. And then using the comma, it prompts us for a second criteria. And this time we're going to look in column E, comma, and the second condition is that the vehicle is white. And now we have our answer, and there's 22 rows where there's a salesperson of Frank and the color of the vehicle is white. Again, we'll just quickly double check it. Filter onto Frank, we've got 108. And now we're just going to look at white vehicles. And again, quickly count up the number of rows and it's 22. And our answer is 22. So that's worked again. The next type of question is not just simply counting rows, but it's going to sum a value within that row where the conditions are met. So instead of using a count if, we're going to use the formula sum if. So this time, what is the total uh, what is the total value of sales for Frank? So what we're going to do is we're going to sum the values in column G, where the condition of Frank is met in the row C salesperson. Very simply, as per usual, equals sum if. We can look at the prompts that the formula is asking. We're going to sum the range. So again, we're going to sum the range of column C, comma, where the condition and the criteria is Frank, comma. We have a third option here, and it is what are we going to sum if those conditions are met? We are going to sum column G. So what's in column G? Close brackets, and the answer is 2.8 million. I'll just quickly change that to dollars to make it more obvious. And there you go, the answer is 2.851 million dollars. And to just confirm, as we have done in the past, we'll filter to Frank. And this time we'll highlight over the values. And what Excel does 
is quickly does a sum down here, 2851000, and that's exactly the answer that we got using the SUMIF formula. 2851000. And the final formula we will use today is the SUMIF S function, and very similar to the COUNTIF S function is it's going to count or sum up the value that you select based on multiple conditions. So the question here is, what is the total value of trucks sold on a Monday? So we've got two conditions, trucks and sold on a Monday. Start the formula again, equals sum if, use the S to have multiple conditions. And this time it's asking us for the sum range as the first part of the formula. So we're going to sum column G, which is the value, based on the criteria that it's a truck, so column F, and the criteria is truck, and the next criteria range is that we're looking for Monday, so the day of the week is criteria range. And what is the criteria? Is that it's a Monday. These ones are the first three letters, so we'll make sure that equals exactly what the column is. Monday, M-O-N. So sum if, we're going to sum column G. If the day of the week is Monday and the product is a truck. Close brackets. Again, we'll just turn that into dollars. 595,000 and a final double check we have trucks sold on a Monday Let's highlight over the column and you can see the sum equals 595 so that's a really good result very very simple I've explained it in a couple of minutes once you get used to these you'll be able to do them in, in a matter of 30 seconds so thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can put out some more Excel tutorials. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks.